is not a dinosaur egg, but it looks like one. It's a jackfruit. These things are crazy. You can find them in uh, Asian supermarkets during the summer months, and I'm gonna show you how to cut into one. You ready for this? Whoa! That's crazy! And you gotta take out the core. This part is uh, unedible. You know what's really cool? It makes the best veggie pulled pork in the world. The fruit is really nice and stringy and it's got really good texture in it and it just feels like you're eating pulled pork. So this part of the jackfruit is the edible part. Oh, it tastes pretty tropical. It's like banana, pineapple, and pear. And it's gonna make great barbecue. Whole jackfruits are hard to find, but there's a great alternative. This is canned jackfruit. And if you look at it, peels away like a meat would, like a pulled pork, and it's so good in a barbecue sauce. I like to soak mine a little bit and then just cut off the cores. All right, let's get going on a classic barbecue sauce. In with the jackfruit right away. You want lots of flavor in it. And just in the pan, I've just got a little bit of sauteed onions and garlic, right? It's a good beginning to any great sauce. But it needs a bit of excitement. It needs a little bit of heat. And when it comes to heat, I make my own hot sauces. Nice and spicy, triple X. And for a little extra added heat, I like chipotles. The sauce needs a little bit of liquid. I'm gonna use a touch of veg stock. And for some acid and for some life, apple cider vinegar. Classic barbecue. Pinch of salt. I'm making veggie pulled pork. I'm gonna smoke it. Smoke pouch, really fun, really simple, and I'm using hickory. I'd use hickory if I was doing pulled pork. Uh, a little bit dry wood, a little bit wet wood. This is really important. You need to poke some holes in it so as the wood kind of steams and starts to burn, the smoke has somewhere to go. Before I head to the barbecue, I have to do one thing. Pulled pork is great because the pork is pulled. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the jackfruit. And look at it, if you stick your fork in it, it pulls away just like pork does. It almost has the same texture to it. It's really cool. So I preheated the grill to 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, you don't really need to cook the pulled you just need to smoke it. So I have the right hand side on, the left hand side off. The side that's on gets my smoke pouch. The side that's off gets the pulled pork. And uh, you're good to go. And I'm just gonna use one smoke pouch. The great thing is that pulled pork takes like three hours. Uh, this takes 30 minutes. So one pouch of smoke. When the smoke dies, time to eat. That looks great. A little bit of color change. It's gotten a little drier, a little darker, and smokier. That is ready to go. It smells like pulled pork, that's crazy. All right, I can't wait to eat this. Uh, I always like a little bit of extra sauce on my bun. That is just crazy to me. So cool. Like something nice and kind of cool and crunchy. A little bit of slaw, fresh cabbage, some onion, carrot. Just that classic pulled pork style. Sweet! And 
most vegetarian, but that's pulled pork sandwich. The jackfruit's really nice. It's kind of chewy. It doesn't get mushy after it's been cooked and smoked, and it takes on flavor. Man, it's smoky, it's sweet, it's spicy. If that's what I can do with jackfruit, wait till you see what I can do with cauliflower.